What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a video for you that's very obscure but if you understand why I'm making it then you'll probably get why. Also if you found it then this is probably the most helpful video to get you started. So I haven't touched MIDI in many many years as it's an ancient file format but it's basically a way of storing music that comprises of notes, timing, volume etc etc instead of having a waveform where it stores pitches and tones, etc, etc, like normal music, it's a hell of a lot smaller and can be edited to be played back or recorded from a digital piano, a keyboard, etc, etc. Anyways, it's coming back into relevancy because of a game called Rust. Rust has added musical instruments that you can power by playing MIDI music into your computer using software or hardware, and it'll play in the game on the online server for all of your friends and people to hear. So if I were to go ahead and download a MIDI file off of the internet, you know basically how it works, you open it up, and then you get a representation of whatever you're listening to. It doesn't sound the best, but hey, it's something. And when you play it in game, it can be pretty cool when you're sitting there playing an instrument like a piano, guitar, drums, etc, etc. And you're playing out one of your favorite tunes and it's working quite well. That's basically what this game is trying to get to with this MIDI compatibility that they've added in. And it works really well. The only issue is that when you're in game, you can only play one instrument at a time. Say a piano, a guitar, a bass, or the drums, etc, etc. Only one at a time. So when I go ahead and play a song like I just did, you'd usually hear multiple layers. You'd hear guitar, maybe some synth, but you'd also usually hear drums. And the issue with drums inside of MIDI is that when played back on a single instrument, the different drum sounds that are supposed to be playing are actually replaced with the pitch value that they are replaced with. So say there's a simple beat going on, that simple beat would turn into a rhythmic hammering of the lower side of the keyboard, and it would end up drowning out everything else. And that's basically what I'm here to solve today. So how exactly do we go about editing a MIDI file and possibly removing an instrument from it entirely? Well, it's actually pretty simple. This is just one of the bits of software, but again, because it's such an ancient codec, there's hundreds of thousands of programs that will accomplish the same thing, if not better. Heading across to the first link in the description down below, you'll be taken to MIDI Editor. Simply head across to Download and download it for Windows or Linux by hitting the Download the Installer. Click the Installer text over there and it'll download a file like this. Simply click on it to open it when it's done. Then once it's open, all you need to do is hit next, choose, a, choose where to install it, I'll just hit next and let it install to its default place. And there we go, basically done, finish. Then you'll have a new shortcut on your desktop to MIDI editor. All you need to do really is take a MIDI file, drag and drop it into the program, and it'll open it. You can of course also go file open or click the big open button over here. Then once you're here, you can press spacebar to play back. And if you can't hear anything, head across to MIDI at the top, settings, and choose an output. So I'll choose Microsoft Wavetable Synth. And you can then hear it playing in Windows. Holding control and scrolling down or up will zoom you in and out. Clicking anywhere, you can click on a note. You can click delete to remove it, control Z to add it back. But the whole reason that we're here is to go ahead and remove the drums, which come in over here. To move the playhead, simply hover over the top here until you see this red bar, and then double click somewhere to place it. Then you can hit play, and it'll play from then. As you can hear, there were drums, and we're gonna go ahead and try and remove them. So on the right hand side, we have tracks as well as channels. Channels are basically the different instruments that are playing, and usually drums or instruments that aren't recognized are shown as acoustic grand pianos. You can hit the S next to it to listen to just that, and you'll be able to tell exactly what it is. But heading back to tracks, usually they'll title these to be the instruments that they are, so voice, lead, piano, chords, bass, etc., or the person that plays it. But over here, you can see a track labeled drums, and listening back to it over here, you can see the color that corresponds to the drum beats. So all you need to do is simply hit the speaker and the little I next to it to hide it from the track on the left, hit play, and you'll hear it without. And as you can hear, we've successfully removed the drums, which is what I was planning to do this whole time. From here, if you were to save it, it would still save with the drums, even though you've turned them off in the editor. What we need to do is hit the little bin on the far right hand side of these icons, and it'll remove the track entirely. Then you can hit Control S, or file save or save as, and you've basically removed an instrument entirely. To do a few more interesting things, you can hold right click to draw out notes, and there's quite a bit more that you can do with this program, however, I haven't dug into it too deep. This is just a simple tutorial on doing a little bit of minor editing. You can of course drag and select multiple notes, 
delete them. And this is just for little bits of fixing up for the game specifically. However, you can use it anywhere, anyhow. Anyways, that's about it. A little bit of a simple tutorial, very obscure and something completely different to what I usually do. But hey, it's here for whoever needs it. My name is me and Technobo here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.